Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to do game number four from the Steffenfeld City Collection unboxing of Marrakesh. This is the only original game out of the out of the first four of the City Collection. Um, this game, it's a brand new game from Steffenfeld. Um, some say that they're, it's his, their favorite. I know Paul from Gaming Rules thinks this is his favorite now over Trajan. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what my favorite one is going to be now. This may be it. Um, if it lives up to all its expectations, then it probably will be. By the way, this is Marrakesh. Um, as you can see already, it's got a it's a bigger box. It was a little bit more expensive. Um, but this is the uh, the deluxe version of Marrakesh. Um, I think they did come with a regular retail version later on. Um, but this is the one I think that was available in the original Kickstarter. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty big box and, uh, it does have the same spine right here for the city collection games right there. Um, and right there. And then in the back, it has the original, it has this one right here. Of course, I like this one right here cause it's the more colorful one right here. So it's uh, Marrakesh by Queen Games. Trying to not to get that chair in there, but of course I did. <laughs> anyway, Marrakesh right here. So let's open it up without further ado and see what's inside the box. And again, this one has also has game trays inserts. Um, hopefully I won't forget those and like I did last time and put them at the end of the video. But they'll probably go towards the end anyway. But let's take a look and see what's inside here. As soon as I can get the shrink off of it. Alright, this one is a definitely a beast. But definitely the one I was looking the most forward to. Unboxing. So voila. So there's the sleeve. We'll just leave the sleeve there back there. That's a I said I like the sleeve of this one better than the original. Just the regular box. Uh, let's see, I got limited space where I'm at right now. So, and again, this is a huge box, so I'm just going to have to put it on the floor next to me and open it up. Alright, so lots of components inside this one, as you probably would expect. So the deluxe component box is pretty small. Not like the other one in New York City with the big skyscrapers in it, which we just did the unboxing of. But we'll get to that. So let me see if I can find the instruction manuals here. These player boards are even huge. Huh. Can't find the manuals. Oh, there they are. Okay. And surprisingly, the manuals don't seem as seem as thick, but yeah, I guess it is. I guess it's 20 pages. So this is the manual from Marrakesh here. So the general overview. I apologize, the lighting is the best I could get it. Uh, Alright, so let's see here. There's a lot to be done in Marrakesh. So Marrakesh is a is a city in Morocco, if you don't know. Um, use your assistance to increase your influence on the Kutobia Mosque and the Baha Palace. Profit from the wisdom of the scholars captured on valuable scrolls. Roam the su souk souks to haggle with the merchants over precious luxury good. Go to the market place ja El Fana and its water vendors, storytellers, snake charmers, and jugglers. Find oasis in the Sahara and navigate the Ten Sift River. But overall this don't forget to pay the people and provide sufficient dates and most of all water. The city in southwestern Morocco, known as the Pearl of the South, which is Marrakesh, was founded in the year 1070 AD and is one of the country's four royal cities. The country's name can be derived directly from the city's name, Marrakesh. Oh, Morocco comes from Marrakesh, okay. Um, the historic center, the Agdal Gardens and the Minera Gardens were listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1985. Okay. 
Alright, so inside you can have your component list right here. And again, this says they have the game board, the cube tower, which is similar, very similar to the cube tower at Amerigo. Um, four player boards, which are huge. Uh, supply boards. Cash, 300 cashies, 25 in each color. Wow. Uh, four screens, so you have player screens in this one, which is cool. Which you know, when you're picking your cashies, to see what cashies you have left and stuff. Twenty-six pawns, six in each player color. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> and oh, for the expansion, you have two. You have a sultan and you have an imam for the expansion. So there is an expansion with this. The fountain, t one fountain tile for expansion two. See page 16. Four scoring markers, one in each player color. So you have basic colors, red, green, yellow, and blue. 32 city gates, which we have the deluxe components. So we'll have the wooden components for that, which is going to be very cool. Um, the deluxe components also for the ponds. Uh, resources, so you have deluxe water. So you have water, dates, and dinars, which is the currency. Moroccan currencies. Four scoring tiles, one in each player color, the 100, 200. Uh, 72 scrolls, which are kind of like, kind of like quests in a way. Um, or they give you special powers. 25 luxury goods. That's cool. Uh, 12 exchange offices. Base game, reverse side, and one for the expansion number three. Four audience discs. And then the reverse side for the expansion four, the audience discs. Um, definitely a lot going on in this game. Uh, four, prov 12 provision tiles. Nine double-sided river tiles. One season tracker, which is Stefan Fell figure with his camel. Uh, th and the round tracker is the uh, camel. So season tracker, I think, is Stefan Fell. Then the round tracker is um, the camel. 30 oases, front and back. 12 desert towns, front and back. Uh, eight covering tiles, four for the oasis. And five, uh, and for the expansion, you have desert towns. Four times desert towns, one for each player. Twenty staircase tiles, which are you going to go from the temples with, and one cloth bag, and then a rules booklet, and of course the addendum, which all the stuff city collection games have an addendum. Let's see here. Uh, game concept and object of the game. Marrakesh has played over three seasons of four rounds each, so basically it's twelve rounds, three seasons. I think after each. Seasons finished, you do a scoring. At the beginning of each round, you will choose three sectors of your playing board. You will activate this round by deploying your assistance here. So I'll determine which caches will be available this round. Okay, anyway, we won't go into that too much. This is just an unboxing. But caches are kind of like your workers, I guess. Uh, or determine your... A well, the, not really. Uh, the caches kind of determine your actions, but it's it's kind of weird. So the uh, you, you actually have yeah, player colors you have to choose three actions with them and then you have to pick your caches um which is kind of different so there's your, the uh, tower over here um and then you here's the uh the main board with all the the different uh, scholar tiles and whatnot in here general components player components so the player board the player board actually is probably almost as big it doesn't look as big here but it is pretty big um it's probably about a quarter of the size of the board and the board itself is pretty big so lots of setup there. Um, playing the game. Select cashies, deploy assistance. Claim cashies and deploy them. Use your assistance. Uh, river bonus and end round. Round sequence. So sequence of the round. Use your assistance. Blah, blah, blah. So basically it just goes through the game and how each uh, sector of the game operates. The river, the uh, date orchard, the souk, the main square. Mosque and Palace, Ma Madrasa, uh, Medina, Sahara, the desert area. So lots of stuff in here. Yeah, river bonus, blah, blah, blah. Season scoring. And then I should, I don't think, yeah, like I said, I don't think there's a solo mode. How to put together the uh, cube tower, <laughs> which can be fun. Expansion module, so, yeah, so you have expansions. Uh, num expansion number one is the staircase tile. These look like mini expansions, kind of. Uh, expansion two, Imam and Sultan. Uh, 
expansion number three, additional exchange offices, expansion four, spectators, expansion five, desert towns, and that's it. And then the four games right here that are out so far. Hamburg, Amsterdam, New York, and Marrakesh. Uh, and this is what, what I like to see on the other ones. Uh, they do have a table of contents, but they also have an overview of a round, which is cool. So this will be helpful once I learn how to learn the game to just look at this for reference. Cool. But that's uh, pretty good. And then you have your uh, addendum, which is eight pages, looks like. So you have your addendum here, which shows all the different tiles, what they mean, some, some of the icons here. Not too, too many. Um, scrolls, what the different scrolls are. Uh, yeah, so 0 to 21 is one category, then 22 to 42 is another category. And then 43 to 60, yeah, so these you need increasing scholars. Uh, yeah, you need more scholars and more dates for... Uh, um, to pay for the, the more advanced ones. Yeah, more advanced ones here. And then finally, you need seven scholars and three dates for these ones. These are the really super advanced ones. And then Oasis and Desert Towns, which is one of the expansions of the Oasis and Desert Towns. And then River Tiles right here. So yeah, so definitely there's no solo mode because I think it just, it just doesn't... Too much hidden information, I guess. And just... Um, I'm sure somebody eventually will try to do a uh, solo mode i imagine <laughs> if they can do one for trajan they can probably do one for this one so i'm sure they can they can do one eventually although this one is going to be more complex i'm sure all right so let's get to the components inside the box so you have your bag which tiles and stuff i imagine akeshis i think go in there um here are your i'm just going to take them out as i grab them this, it looks like it's the uh, tower, the cube tower, which we're going to be putting together. Yeah, this is the cube tower. And then the Stefan Fell Camel, who gaming rules guy is called Charles. <laughs> Paul calls him Charles and Stefan Fell, little figure there. Yeah, so that's going to be fun, putting together the tower there. Okay. Um, let's see what we have. Looks like we got some player aids here. So these are kind of weird. These are... Looks like these are these aren't even cardboard. These are just like kind of paper thin, so I'll definitely probably be laminating these. Uh, but it kind of looks like using the assistance overview, and then a same thing in a different language. Yeah, so these are like player aids, I think, of some sort. But again, I'll probably be laminating these as they're really thin. Okay. Uh, looks like this might be part of the part of the board. <laughs> Not sure exactly what this is, but oh, I think this goes on the top or the bottom of your. Yeah, I think it goes on the top of your player board. Yeah, these attach to it. Yeah, because these are the the uh, for your resources and stuff. Either the top or the bottom, I'm sure. Um. And these are dual layered, which is awesome, as you can see here. So this is a player board. This is how big it is. And uh, I think yeah, I think this is how it goes. It's rectangular. So you have different areas, your desert area, your, where you're going to get your dates, the middle area there, which I'm not sure what's called, the top area, then your bottom area, and then the entertainment area there, the pink area, which you're going to put a disc inside, and then the goods area, top there. But yeah, nice dual layered player boards. This is for the blue player. And I'm not sure exactly. I think this just, yeah, this goes right on top here. Uh, yeah, it goes right on top because the river thing fits right in there. Doesn't kind of fit in it well, but. Oh, I think up top here, different uh, tokens will go in there. Yeah, so it does, it works. The iconography fits there. So I'm sure there's four of those little slider things. Yep, because there's another one here. And yeah, this is the red one. That was the blue one. This is the red one. And then the different player boards here. Yeah, these are really nice. These are huge player boards, though, man. Huge. But nice. Very nice. I like the dual layer. Anything dual layered is really cool. Which the caches all fit nice into. 
So that's probably the major reason for the big box is just all these huge player boards. And the actual real board itself is big. Because there's not much, there's not much, uh, not many uh, punch-up. Well, there are yours kind of, I guess. They're just bigger. Not as many of them, but they're bigger. So these are the punch outs. Whoops. Right here. So. Oh yeah, I see that's why that's up top here. These things are gonna go in here. These are the different demand tiles that you're gonna put in here. And kind of like uh in Trajan, how you had to meet the demands, or else you get negative points. This one the same thing. If you get if you don't meet the demands, you get negative points. So kind of a little bit like Trajan in that respect. Um, and then the river tiles right here on the bottom. And then I think these are the player screens. The player screens are nice and thick. They're, a car they're heavy cardboard uh, player screens, which are nice. That's cool. I like that. Uh, and then the little wheels for the population, the dates. I do have the deluxe components, so I'm sure there'd be wooden ones of these, probably the dates. And then these are the tiles for your desert tiles probably the one the placeholder ones and then these are the wall city walls which i did get the upgraded city walls so those are going to be wooden also which are going to be really cool um yeah this is for the bottom of the uh tower which the tower is going to sit in here i think this punches out and then the tower goes in here which is kind of neat yeah that's going to be cool can't wait to put that tower together um and I think you just have, yeah, there's just one more of these, which are more of the contracts and everything. And then what you get with, the, and the powers you get with the scholars. Yeah. And then more of these right here. So tons of these. Um, and then it does fold out here. So more of these right here. Just a lot of these. And a little one here. So these are all the coins, the dinars, I guess, the coins, the water, um, which again, I have the deluxe water and more city walls of different colors. Yeah, right there. And then this folds up here. Looks like you have some more. I, I think these are uh, market tiles, which come out differently. Yeah, which you can trade. Uh, your, if you have a cashier of a certain color, you can trade it to get resources. And then the backs of those tiles and everything. Looks like a couple more market tiles here. Uh, I think that's it for the tiles. And then you have a whole big bag of cashies, which I'm not going to take these out. I'm just going to show you them. They're basically... Uh, so I'll take, I guess I'll take one of them out just to show you. They're just basic cylinders. Yeah, cylinder tiles. So if you've seen one, you've seen them all. So right here, and I think it's twelve different colors. So tons of these. So if you ever need cylinders of any color, you just come to this game. Kind of like um, Macau for uh, for cubes. <laughs> all right. So those are them. Uh, the board. Oops. Kind of showing it over here. Okay, the board is, like I said, huge. <laughs> yeah, it's just huge. The board is pretty big. And again, it's probably four, uh, maybe not quite four times the uh, player boards. And it's not dual layered, but it's pretty big. And again, I'm just going to show you the player board. Um, there's the player board right there. So just to show you, that's it right there. Just a bigger version of that. <laughs> Alright, and let's get to the deluxe components. So this actually bone boxing isn't gonna be that bad. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer. But it's just that everything is bigger in this one, in this game. Um let's see where the where'd my knife go? Uh let's see if I can use my fingernail here. I don't think so. Uh yeah, I don't know where my my knife went. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. Sorry about that. Disregard the chair in the corner there. I got it out of shot originally. All right, and this is the coolest part of the game. A Stefan Feld coin. 
And this one looks like it's a red one. It's got this hat on there. And then the back of it says Marrakesh and the signature. But very cool. So don't let me forget to do the, uh, the game trays there. So there it is outside the box. And there it is too. Very cool though. These, these are super cool. Nice and thick. All right. And so the deluxe components. So these are your assistants here. So there's the green one right there. There you go. Just wooden, wooden versions. And they have them in all the different player colors. So there you go. Okay. Uh, so here's are the here are the uh, resources. So these are the, the water. I might actually use this for my barrage game. The water tokens for that because I get really bad water tokens in my barrage game. So these these would be better. Uh, and then you have your dates right here. So three three D dates. Okay, and then you have your these. This is probably this is probably the coolest component actually. These the city walls of the different colors. This is the pink one, which you're gonna have guards guarding these walls. I'll show you another one. This is a white one, but nice looks like silk screen. Let me show you a couple different other colors. There's an orange one. And then a purple one. So I think yeah, they have these are the twelve different colors. So there you go. So there are your city walls. And those are your deluxe components. So primarily it's made up of the assistants. There's little boats in here too. I don't know where they are. Oh, they're in, I think they're in with your assist. Yeah, here we go. Let me just see if I can find one in here. Uh, so this is, I think, I assume this is your victory point marker. And then let me see if I can find it. So I think you might have a neutral player in this too. With the, yeah, the black and the white ones. Oh, and the boats too, yeah. Because you got to go on the river. These are little boats, similar to, to um, Amsterdam. So, yep. So the little boats, the different colors. There's a green one right here. There you go. All right. Yeah, so lots of cool components. The wooden components are really nice in this one with the resources and your assistance and everything. And lastly, I didn't forget it. Lastly, it's going to be the uh, um, inserts by uh, Game Trace, which, is, which are really cool. All right, let me show you the. Let's see if I can find the. Oops. All right, so your game trays. Let me get you this three game trays, and this one is one on the bottom and two on the top because this is much bigger. And uh, where is the where where is the I'm trying to find the uh, the actual insert? I mean the uh, shows you what's uh, in the game trays. So I can show you that first if I can find it. Hmm. Let me put all this stuff down here. Give me one second here. One second, I will be right back. All right, we have found it. So this is Marrakesh right here. So you have your you know, two top ones right here. So it looks like you put your player screens there. Your city walls there, and all your assistants up top there. And then the bottom is where you put all the keshis. They'll never look like that. And your dates and coins, <laughs> they'll never look that nice. <laughs> no, definitely not. And the uh, uh, area for the entertainment there. And then with the covers on it with the Steppenfeld coin. And then on the other side is the bottom one, which you put all your... Uh, tiles for the scholars and whatnot and then the extensions for the player boards there and then shows you how to pack them in and everything 
So I'll just show you them piece by piece. So this is the one the coin will go into here. Very nice. Here, voila. Very well done. Uh, and then the other one. Here is where all the cashies go in. Again, they're never going to go in as nice as they do on the thing. Um, and then the bottom one, which is pretty much the length of the box. Very hard to see, but there it is there. Voila. Well, so no cards in this one. <laughs> Every other one had a cards in it. This one does not. This one has lots of tokens and everything, but no cards. So, all right. So that is the unboxing of Marrakesh. Definitely cannot wait to get this one again. This one does not have a solo mode, so I'll have to wait till we play this one multiplayer, which may not be for a little while since we have a lot of games we want to play first, probably. But this one will maybe my next game that uh that i bring to the table um for my group right now we're playing seventh continent um buddy dave is suggesting that one so it may it may come up next possibly unless my unless jen in the group decides that she wants to do a game from her collection um but if not then well even so uh this will probably get to the table within from two weeks to a month and depending upon vacations and whatnot too but definitely uh definitely really want to play this one um again this is the, like i said this is the only one i haven't played at all on uh, any version of um we have we implemented or original so because this one does not have a re-implementation yet this was an original game so all right so thank you for joining me it's been eric from higher ground gaming and this has been an unboxing of marrakesh number four in the city felt stefan feld city collection by queen games so take care and god bless and we'll see you in the next unboxing video take care bye-bye now